So as we saw in our previous video, that was props versus tail. But now this is going to be an example of a uh, how to pass the data using props. So let's see. We have a dummy application, so we are going to create all the examples using the same application. Uh, let's not create any more. Uh, I'll just remove this whole thing. We have seen how to create a component in our previous videos. Right, but let's let's create another component and that's quite easy. So there are multiple ways. If you want to know, just uh, I have mentioned the link above. Go and see how we have created the component in a previous video. Uh, let's create a simple component. Components are what? Function. Okay. I'll just create something like this. You can add export default to it because this is going to be our default component and every component has something or the other thing to return so we can return let's say um, h1 oops hello world save and let's run it okay hello world yes so this is going to be our first component that we created hello world let's create okay in the src folder let's create our own folder called, called as pages or components so here i'm going to create all the components that we are going to ever use in this all these upcoming videos so let's create our first file that would be passing props dot js all these files are either js or tsx because we are going to write jsx code so it can be JS, it can be TSX. It's up to you how you're going to declare them. So we will write export default. So these JS and TSX, they depend on which kind of compiler you're using. TypeScript also should be compiled into JavaScript. And so you're using JavaScript, that's also uh, the same thing. So we are just giving pure JavaScript to this. If you want to use TypeScript, you can save it as .tsx. For now, Let's go ahead with .js. Export default, again function. So we are using a, the function type of it. Uh, this is a bit easy. Uh, let's say that passing props would be my name of my component. Okay. And this will just simply return, I'll just say h2 passing props component. Save. If you want to use this, uh, coming back to app.js, if I want to use this as a component, so if I just save it, you are going to see no change. So if I even if I did just do a refresh, there is no change. We have created a component, but we have not used it. So how to use it? Again, just simply go import. Okay, the name of my component that is passing props. So the editor is smart. It's directly giving you all the import statement and everything and how to use it i'll just remove this hello world and passing props i'll just make it as a singular tag so it is self-closing and passing props component yay we load we just loaded our first component it's easy and you can also do this it's also okay it's correct if you just Oops, refresh it. It's working. So you can self close it. So we usually self close any uh, uh, any component when you don't have anything to pass to it. So we are not uh, like adding any child nodes H1, H2, H3 or something. We are not creating the nested tags right now. And that's the reason we are self closing it because it, it can be self closed. So there are multiple ways you can pass or multiple kind of values that you can pass to a, a component as a property so how to pass a property it's not very difficult it's absolutely easy simple name equal to let's say that i write knowledge keen this is the first property or attribute that you have already passed to passing props so you already passed the first property or you just sent a first props to your passing prop component so how to use it now that's easy okay so we passed something to the uh, passing props component so all the properties let there be one two or n 
n number of properties you just have to say props okay and get these values let's say i just want what i passed i passed the name and you just get the values using curly braces using props dot that uh, that property name so what i passed was name property here you see name property and you are fetching it using props dot name so what are props props is the first parameter basically it's the parameter it's a default parameter which you usually pass it to any component where and you can access n number of attributes to it we'll see how so i passed the first property that was a string value and if i just do a refresh you can see knowledge keen is already printed into your child component so i passed knowledge keen as a string value from app.js to my passing props so now passing props is the child component app is my parent component i'm passing the property from parent component to child component and how do i pass it using any kind of any name okay so these can be like anything i just i can just say a b c d and uh, you just need to use the same key a b c d and that will work see there is no change if you just do a refresh nothing has been changed so then i just wrote a b c d because that can be anything so you can just like have the key as anything i can i can just say my name and that can also be a key now another most important thing is that if i am passing a property name as something in a capital case or let's say that the whole name is capital okay and i am using it in a smaller case that won't work the way the case you are passing the key exactly it should be used in the same case so if i am passing it in the capital case camel case pascal case or whatever case you are going to use the same case should be used into the child component for our properties and that will work these are small things we usually forget when we are writing the code because we are in a hurry and we just write capital case or camel case and we start using all the lower cases and they don't usually work and we don't know why it's not working but these are the small nits and bits which we forget but these are important so the case that you are passing as uh, the property name exactly it should be used as in the child component as well prof dot it should be exact case which we are passing i know i am repeating too much too many times but that's okay so here we passed the first thing that was string you can pass string in just inverted commas or in curly braces okay curly braces and inverted commas it can be a single inverted comma multiple in, uh, double inverted comma or even triple inverted comma all these inverted commas are absolutely fine so now what i'm doing i'm just adding a curly brace and inverted comma and still it will work see it will still work so this was the first type of data that we passed to a component now now let's say that with name i'll just make it in the small case i don't like uh, passing it in the capital cases so usually your property names should be in lower case or camel case which is a, which is a good habit and the uh, component name should always be in the uh, title case or you can say the first character and the middle character should be in the capital i think it's called as pascal case if i'm not wrong but i don't know the exact name of it but this is the way it should be so the next property or the next property that i want to pass let's say that i want to pass an age so let's say that i add another property in the same passing component okay passing props component now i just want to pass some numbers let's say i'm i'm just adding some random numbers 10 okay it's giving me an error you can never pass any kind of uh, property okay value property value without using curly braces so string is an exception i can just pass like inverted commas and that will go but all the other data types usually you have to pass it using curly braces and make it a habit even i i usually pass the string also in a curly braces just for the sake of habit so we not we should not do anything wrong so age now i am passing it as a number as an integer let's print the same thing i don't have to like again say age uh, 
each because we are passing it as in props so props will hold all the properties if i just want to print the age let me just say uh i'll add over here only another dash or something you can i don't want to confuse you 30 braces props dot age and voila knowledge king 10 it is printing the values i'll just remove this additional string so it's knowledge king and 10 so we are passing now the data using properties and that's how it is let's say that i want to another let's say that i want to pass a boolean value okay the third data type i can just say true or false whatever you want to print and you can directly use it over here you can just say props dot flag and that should usually it, it does not print because it's not a boolean values are usually uh, usually not printed on the values so if you want to check whether it is being passed you can just add a console.log and i say props.flag and you can see it in the console true it is there see it is there the value of the boolean is there so true if you just say it as false and that is also going to be there so true false i just refresh it and it's false so first i passed it as true then second i passed it as false so you can so you can pass any kind of uh, value as a property now we are adding some hard coded values but what let's say that what if we want to pass some dynamic value which is coming from the uh, from any variable okay because we are storing the dynamic value in a variable and we just want that value to be passed to props that also you can do let's say that i will uh, have a variable called as let uh, a equal to we usually do this or well let's say that let num equal to 100 okay and i want to pass so in future i'm changing the num value to 101 102 or whatever it is but you can pass this numeric value i say uh, count or something equal to you can also pass the variable values to the to it if you want to print we can print that too so let's say i just add a count and the count value is display should be like props dot now because i am passing oops now let's not get confused the attribute name so it the attribute name is count let's see let's go here and the count is 100 so it is already getting displayed so it's not the case for only these primitive data types like number string and uh, boolean but you can also pass arrays objects let's quickly see that if i just want to let me quickly just do this oops and let's say that i am passing arr equal to array so except string everything should be in in a curly basis so now i am passing an array let's say that one oops one two three four and five if i want to pass this so now i'm passing the array let me quickly remove all of them i don't want them i just want my uh i'm just using my array rest everything i'm not using that's okay that will still work see the output in the output it is one two three four five so it's just simply printing the array it's doing nothing else if i want to pass an object another interesting thing obj1 let's say curly braces and object is also in curly braces so now there will be two curly braces so i just add like uh, a as 10 and b as 20 you can also use this like obj1 and it's not printing because objects are not printed you just need to stringify it. i just say json.stringify because i am just converting the object into string and that will print the exact object in a stringify format in the string format you can see it's adding all the curly braces so you can pass any kind of data to props we have seen like string numbers uh, booleans arrays objects even the variables so this is the way you can do it so even let's say that uh, to just add one short example one more example i just change the value of num to like 10 20 and 30 it's also an array so you can also do this so now count is having three values numeric values it's an array 
10, 20, 30. So your variable can handle any kind of data. We already know that, but the same thing can be passed to your child component using nothing but props. So coming back to a last example of properties, we have seen that we are just passing uh, so many kind of data to a component, right? So pass, passing props is a component and we are passing n number of attributes to a component. What if we want to pass an HTML to, a, to this? So let's say that I want to pass hello world in like Dave or H1 or some of the other thing to my component. How can you do that? The best example for this is navigation bar. So each navigation bar have a different menu. Each menu can have a different sub menu. And what if you want, if you're keeping these menus uh, as a different component, what each time you want to pass a different HTML to it. This can be a scenario. And let's see how to do that. I'll just remove all these because I don't want them, right? And now I will, what I will do is, I will just write my to just make it a bit more hierarchy. What I'm doing, I'm adding h1 in my div tag. Hello world. Okay. HTML. I'll just write something more. HTML passed as props. Right? So I am now what I am doing, I am passing the complete HTML from starting tag and closing tag, and the whole HTML I am passing this between my two tags right opening and closing tag how i'm going to use it here so there is no flags let me just remove it or it will start throwing error and i'll just remove all of them okay so now what i want what this whole component will do it will just take the html from the parent and it will just print as it is simple the way to do it, because now we don't have a key attested to it, right? There is no key like name or flag or count. There is no key. So React gives you a default key with props and that is children. So whenever you say props.children, let me just add it in some parenthesis. Okay. And see what are we doing? We are just so what are we doing? We are simply passing the whole HTML as a property. How interesting, right? And you, there are a lot of things you can do using this. So it's a small concept, but it's quite powerful. I know this video has been lengthy. We talked about shorter videos, but this is how we do it. This is how React gives you the flexibility to write any kind of code using just simple component and props. And the whole React lies between these two things. I hope this was an interesting video. And if, if this was an interesting video, give us a like and subscribe. Thank you so much.